today I have this KW with a X15 engine. Oh no, this is a Peterbilt 579 with a X15 engine and it's having an issue. That issue right there. Uh, that is a stop engine with a checking in light stop engine right there. This code um, doesn't show anything because it doesn't have the extra screen right there. So the problem that we have on this one is right here. This code right here. This code refers about uh, this particular filter, which is the DPF. The load is very high, which means then the amount of material that is being captured in the filter is very high. So in this area right here, we have the amount of load that the filter has and it's five ounces, which is very high. And this is what the code is about. And it is about normal. So this is the reason why the code is getting active. I recently did the regeneration to this truck, like probably like two days ago, I did the regeneration completely. And this lot right here went all the way down to 25. And now, it is back to five uh, ounces. So it went back, it went, it went down all the way to 0 0.25, which means that it's less than an ounce, but now it went higher. Which means one thing, it means then the DPF filter or either is not getting clean properly or the DPF filter is defective which means that it's getting a lot of dirt inside. Also, the engine can throw a lot of material to it, causing this issue. So what to do now? What to do on this Cummins X15 engine is go to this section right here, click on it, and we have to do a region because we have to clear this code. And once we do the region, we are going to see what the percentage of load goes down and how fast. But knowing then this could happen again after doing a region, we have to inspect the engine for excessive carbon build or we have to replace the DPS field. A very short video, very quick video, and if you wonder the code, the code number is right here all the way. This is the code uh, 32510. So this is the code right here. And we have other codes right here referring to the same issue. See, all related to the same issue right here. Um, everything related to the DPF filter. But it is just one that is not related to the DPF filter, which is this one, the coolant level sensor. Other than that, everything is related. So, um, definitely this Cummins X15 with a pedal build 579 chassis will need a DPF filter, but before that I had to see if there is excessive, uh, excessive amount of carbon getting uh, sent to the DPF filter causing this issue. But a very quick video just for you guys to understand this issue. And probably I want to do videos about it, but uh, this is what I have right now. I just wanted to do a very quick video about it. So um, if you have any questions, go to the comment section below. Uh, go to Instagram, look for me, Francisco Maya YouTube. If you have any type of uh, questions about it too, and recommendations on anything, you can also use the comment section below. Want to send support to the channel? Check the description of the video. I have details how to send support to the channel. Um, like share subscribe and thank you for watching